It's cold in the super shed today, and as usual, I am Moobit. Welcome to the vlog slash first impressions video, I suppose. Um, yeah, I've just taken delivery of a new shiny fit. And the best thing is, Dean and Nick of Team Reflected don't know yet. I've been winding them up all day, <laughs> like the sending uh, squee and woo and wee <laughs> kind of gifts and the like. What? 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 Oh, I've taken a delivery. What is it? What is it? I'm not telling you. <laughs> so anyway, I think um, that's the light. We've just uh, turned that on remotely and we're going to uh, get our first impressions, maybe start building out the rig. You know, there's bits still coming in the post, but uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go to the camera, shall we? And what is the, uh, the delivery, you may ask? Finally, <laughs> we've got a cinema camera of our very own. Uh, this is the Zocami 2 M4, which is currently an MFT, but we'll fix that because we've got a lot of EF glass. So, uh, got an EF mount as well. Um, I mean, long story, you guys who follow me on the vlogs and things know that I have PTSD. And because of that PTSD and the shenanigans around it, I had to take three years off including three years off review from you guys and uh, yeah um, I had to sell up I had um, I had a red I had to sell up uh, to pay my bills and things and uh, just been slowly chipping away and to get just a starter cinema camera now I've gone for this because of the form factor could have gone up gone black magic pocket route for the same kind of money but me being a gimbal operator you'll see why the form factor is a lot better um, i've just come off of an indie film where we used um ursa minis um as the main camera and black magic pockets are uh, as the gimbal camera and they were an absolute ball like to to balance you had to yeah it just because of the shape of them whereas this is a proper cube like a proper cinema camera inside the box you get uh, a quick start thing um which basically tells you what the buttons do and how to turn it on. Uh, all right, and then in Japanese, I'm guessing, or Korean. Um, and then the usual paperwork and bump, and then underneath here, oh, oh, there we are. So this is the ZCAM E2 itself. We've got some power cables. We've got a Wi-Fi antenna because you can use your phone as a monitor. I, I am going to use normal monitor, but I think I might even use my phone to change the settings. But more on that in a second. But uh, let's get this this thing open. There we are. Um, and here it is um, inside the box. It's pretty simple because obviously as a cinematographer, you build out your rig according to your needs. So we've got a D-tap to normal um, sort of AC power kind of a thing. Can you see that? Are we even in focus? I think we're in focus. Yes, we are. Um, I've not got autofocus on. I've just put a lock focus on because I can't be asked with the camera um, zoom in. And then we've got a, I don't know why, we've got some heat shrink wrap on this. Um, Seems to be all right. So this is a Limo pin to detap. So again, putting on your um, V-mount batteries and things like that. Um, I got this for a bargain. This is another reason I went for this one because um, it's X-Display. Um, and it, they rated it four out of five stars, but looking at this, it doesn't look like there's a scratch on it, which is awesome. Um, and then of course, we've got our aerial just here, which bends, uh, you know, you get the general idea with that. But here is, here is the Zcam. This is the M4, but these are all what they call the flagship body. So there's the, and the the numbers, um, the numbers and letters mean what sensor and what uh, mount you have. So M for micro four thirds, four, um, just, well, M4, micro four thirds, I think. Then there's the S6, which is a super 35 6K. And then uh, there's a F6, which is full frame sensor, 6K, and F8, which is full frame sensor, 
8K, so it's pretty simple. Um, as is this thing. Um, those of you who don't use use DSLRs and don't see cinema cameras, you see things like Reds and uh, and Aries and stuff. They are just cubes. I mean, they're a bit bigger than this, but as you can see, that is going to be perfect to be, to balance, and it's actually a lot heavier than it looks. It's solid metal all the way around. It's it's a chunk. I like it in the in the in the field. So here we are. There, there's your micro four third sensor. Um, now. You can use MFT glass as normal. Um, I'm going to be converting it to use Canon glass, which is what this EF mount is down here. Um, and these are interchangeable mounts. So you can get um, EF, PL, MFT, um, and I think you can get Sony E mount, I think. I'm not sure if it's out yet. And you can also get, especially for the Canon one, you can get like one with an integrated speed booster so it's a canon mount but rather than having you know canon mount and then your your metabone speed booster and then your lens it's all in there and the speed booster is built into into this bit here so it's all part of it you can also get um on those um interchangeable mounts one where uh, uh an electronic nd slides into the side of it so there's lots and lots of options as you go for now we're keeping it simple just for a gimbal camera but you know Lots of mounting points all around the side. Uh, we've got flaps here. My fingers are freezing in the shed today. Uh, flaps here for mic and uh, headphone monitoring. On that, this side, it takes CFAST cards, which F that. <laughs> I ain't buying CFAST card. Um, so we're going to use an external SSD. Um, also, it's better for the, for the workflow because uh, you record straight onto the external SSD, unplug it, plug it into your computer, but just edit straight, hopefully be able to edit straight off the off the drive unless this does it in a weird format. But we'll, we'll find that out. Um, programmable function bu buttons on and off. And then on the back, there's your professional plugs right there. There we go. So um, that's for your Wi-Fi antenna we've just seen. Um, Ethernet cable, um, you can link these up and you can use them as webcams for, for live streaming and things, which is another thing we're going to be doing. Um, USB-C, oh I think that's for updating as well, you can update this firmware via uh, Ethernet. Uh, USB-C, um, so again putting in your external drives. Um, Limo power, um, two control ports there, an XLR uh, mic port, which is a mini XLR. Um, so if you've got full size XLR you're going to have to use a little adapter just to make it the full size. Uh, remote trigger and um, an auxiliary 12 volt. And then we've got various screws along here for screwing in things like, I'm about to say DTAP then, uh, V-mount battery plates you can get for this. At the moment this is a Sony MPF battery, you know, these things, um, which is, I'm going to keep it like that. You can get them in various sizes. So you can get a big chunk of a one there. That's about 20 quid and that'll run a, a Z cam for, I hate saying Z cam, being British, I want to say Z cam, but this Kinson has said it has to be pronounced Z. So there you go. Um, this will run a Z cam for about three to four hours. You know, if you're in a pinch, you can use these smaller ones. That's about 20 quid, you know? So, and we've got loads of, N of Sony MPF batteries knocking about because our lights take them, our monitors take them. So, you know, it just makes sense. Another reason why we went with the Z cam. Full size HDMI port, of course, for monitoring of things. Um, and then plenty of mounting points all around it for attaching stuff. Now, I've got a cage coming, um, one from Small Rig and one from Condor Blue. Um, shout out to Condor Blue, they've been very, very cool. Um, not paid by them, not sponsored by them or anything like that, at least not yet. I'm working on a sponsorship deal so I can get you guys some uh, discount codes and things like that, so bear with me on that. But yeah, I think we should get the old uh, E-mount um, installed, which is here. So uh, we'll put the, put the actual brains of the camera to one side. Whoop. Very scared of this knife. <laughs> there we go. I took out, I don't know if you can see that, but I took out I took out part of my finger with that knife because I slipped once. <laughs> Way too sharp for me. Oh okay, so you get inside the box, hopefully it's not too shiny for you. Uh inside the box you get um a screwdriver, um, you know, a hex screwdriver, so that's pretty nice. Nice one, Z-Cam. That's actually uh, a nice little addition. We've got our paperwork just here. Um, we'll read that later. And then inside here, yeah, here we go. 
get rid of the box, we have got our Canon EF mount. Um, slot on the side, it, let's uh, give you a closer look at this. So we've got a slot on the side, this is where I told you about the END can go in here, the e electronic ND filter. It's a locking thing, so those of you who just use, uh, are used to DSLRs and things, you might not have seen this, but you can put the lens in and it locks it in place, so, uh, well, locks it in place that way. Um, so that's quite nice. Um, and it's just a, you know, standard EF mount thing. And, and as you can see, it's just four screws which coincide with four screws here um, on the front of the Z cam. And then you just lift this out, lift that back in and away you go. So I'm going to get on with that and then start building stuff. We've got, I've got another, I've got another board off here and we've got monitors, we've got uh, mobile phone holders, we've got, uh, you know, various attachment points, you know, you can build this out however you like, uh, top handle, um, so I've got uh, ball heads, so I'm going to get this built and see, well, I'll show you what um, a handheld rig looks like with a cage on it, because you can get cages for this thing, so you can have even more mountain points than this, and then we're going to see if we can get it balanced on the gimbal, and uh, go and get some footage with it once lockdown finishes. Unfortunately, Bojo has said that um, lockdown is going to carry on in the UK until the first week of March at the very least. So we actually can't leave, leave the house to go and use this thing. Um, so I'm going to be doing some um, tutorials on how to do product shots and things like that here in the super shed just for, you know, so I can get used to using this thing and, uh, you know, hopefully help you guys out over there in YouTube land. But all that's going to come in the next video. This is just the first impressions and it's uh, nearly 15 minutes long now. So I've been Moobit, you've been Awesome Source, and I'll see you in the next video. Ta-ra! Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your f***ing hands! I like to move it, move it, move it.